Good morning, everybody. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, Stephanie, Helen, eh, Rocio Marisol. Eh, guys, I'm gonna, I'm, eh, Marjorie, Marcela, Gabriela. Eh, chicos, eh, solo quiero informar algo. Eh, coordinación me dijo que había visto unos videos y que había visto gen, gente acostada, <ríe> acostada. Así que me dijo que les comunicara que by because of respect, you have to receive your class um, not laying down, right? Yes, that's what she told me because she has been observing videos and that's what she told me. That she saw some people laying down, right? And it was not something so polite. And she told me that she was going to come, but she has been very busy. So she told me to tell you, okay? Yes. All right, well, um, do you have a homework for today? No, right? Only the listening. Ah, yes, but it was easy or difficult? It was easy. A little crazy, right? The, the man was very insisting and very insisting. Okay, very good. Now, um, and the homework, the homework for the wishes is for which day? For tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow. yes. Okay, very good. So you're going to be ready with that to get ready with your homework uh, related to that. Now, everybody, uh, uh, and also she told me to tell you to turn the camera on. All right, turn the cameras on because she saw some cameras off and she told me to tell you to turn the cameras on. All right? Okay. Well, excuse everybody. Me. Excuse yes? me, teacher. Uh, before we start, I, I want to let you know my little son he had been sick the yeah. whole night. Huh. You're going and... to be turning off your camera. Yes. Problem. Don't worry. Right? Thank you. Don't worry. A mom do. <laughs> A mom duty. Yes, I understand. I understand. Don't worry, eh, America. Thanks for telling me. Okay? Well, everybody, eh, I'm going to eh, share my screen. Today, we're going to begin with unit number two. If there were some doubts related to some topics uh, in unit number one, we're going to clarify that in unit number two. I'm going to show you the, the picture. Let me see. Uh, well, officially, unit number two, life in the city. What do you prefer, the city or the countryside? What do you like the most? What do you prefer, the city or the countryside? The city. The city. The city, really? I thought that you were going to tell me the countryside. You don't like the countryside. I mean, eh, Santiago Analquito and those small towns. You don't like them? I like. I like. I don't place, like mosquitoes. Sorry, America. Eh, ah, Rebecca, the quietness. Like, you like the quietness. All right. For me, good. both. For Emerson, both. You like yes, the city and the because countryside. Because I live in the both places. You live in both places right now. Yes. Where, where are you living right now? In a little town. Mm. In this moment, you are living in a little town. Yes. Wait, may I ask why? Yes, you... because uh, we uh, take care of my great grandparents, but ah. they die. Okay, your grandparents are alive, but they are sick. Uh, they die oh they oh okay like like yeah. some 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 time ago and that's why you live over there yes my great-grandfather today uh, died five years ago uh-huh wow and my great-grandmother two years ago ah okay and and you decided to live in the in the countryside yes, yes. so you like the countryside Yes, but I was born in the city. Ah, you were born in the city. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. In my case, I I I really like uh, the countryside. It is really nice, okay? Well, we're going to be talking about different different things related to life in the city. And one of those things are the pros and cons of living in the city. Okay, so um I, I will I will need your help. We're gonna make a, a, a short uh what happened? We're gonna make a short list 
Okay. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. All right. Talking about the pros and cons. The pros and cons of living in a city. What can be some pros of living in the city? Help me. And I'm going to make a list. The hospital is near. Oh. Near all the place. All right. The hospital. Is, okay. Hospitals are near. Okay. What else? Malls are near. Sorry? Malls. Malls are near. Okay. What else? More opportunities. Ah, okay. Related to what? Um, opportunities to study, to get a job. All right. More job and mm. maybe a professional opportunities, right, Josue? Yeah. Yeah, you are right. You are right. Okay, very good. Uh, opportunities. What else? What can More be transportation. Any... Sorry, Marcela. More transportation. Ah, mm -hmm. all right. Very good. Well, but it depends because here in El Salvador, uh, at what time the last bus runs? Night. At 9 p.m. And imagine at 10 p.m. no buses. So you have to you have to look for the the rest, I mean the means right yes. maybe an Uber. That right. I, in my case I in the I live in the in the neighborhood. So in the other place uh, the name is Pradera. Is las uh, how do you say calle de Tierra, por decirlo así. Ajá, it is, it is a, I mean, a, a street that is rustic. Yes, en the, in the, la, in the bus uh, past 7 p.m. Oh, that's the last hour. Yes. And excuse me, Marcela, where do you live? I live in Apopa, but, um, for example, the neighborhood is Valle Verde. The uh, it had two uh, two uh, street. Hmm. Uh, one that um, is good and another one that is not so good. Yes. <laughs> ah, I got it. I got it. All right. Yeah, it is more difficult. Uh, so if you decide, for example, coming to uh Mexicanos or or coming to San Salvador downtown. You have to stay at a friend's house or something like that. Mm, probably, <laughs> I don't know. Because, uh, for example, uh, in this case, uh, but in the this town, it uh, has, um, but the boss, um, they don't pass uh, 7 uh, 8 p.m. In my case, uh, oh. past 8 p.m. Oh but, my God. Uh, for example, I, uh, I am in the center San Salvador. In downtown. It's really, uh -huh. it's really complicated because the bus pass 8 p.m. Yes, it is really complicated. I know. Yeah, transportation. Yeah. Okay. But what what is another pro of living in the city? Perhaps in the city, teacher, we have a supermarket. Oh, okay, we have supermarkets. Yes. And in we town, have, we have dollar cities. <laughs> I, I am so happy dollar cities exist <laughs> yes actually I have to go today my son told me mom I need something from dollar city and oh my god so we I are happy friend, I got a friend that says dollar cities is a place of evil <laughs> ah yes yes it's true because you can like you go in and would like to buy um something and you go out there from like with 10 things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. What else? What else? Why living also, in the city? Also, we have a lot of restaurants if you want to buy and eat something different. I didn't know that in San Miguel, there is only one Campero chicken. Is that true? Or there are more? It's because in San Miguel, I don't know who. who only one. Miguel here. 
but there are more campero chickens or because campestre is the one very famous over there. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. In San Miguel is, is the most popular uh, campestre. Campestre? Uh, chicken. Ah, okay. And, yes. ah, okay. All right. Yes. It's because... difficult to, to see the uh, uh, campero. Uh, campero doesn't prefer. have Campero doesn't, doesn't have, have like a lot of market over there. Yes, uh, the same uh, union. Oh, That's la union. Yes. There are in. Well, there are in. There are in. Campero chicken. Campero chicken. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what are the cons of living in the city? What are the cons? The cons. The Is there a lot of pollution? The services, the services. Uh, ah, when I said cons, everybody was. <laughs> yeah, it's because we have maybe more pros than cons. All right, give me a second. I will go one by one. Somebody said there is a lot of pollution. Yeah. There is much noise. Live there is expensive. There is more traffic. Oh, there is much noise. Well, in this case, much, if I'm talking about grammar, is not correct. Much is for noise. negative sentences. But if you live there, traffic, it's expensive. Yes. Uh, okay, give me a moment. So there is maybe too much noise in this case, yes, uh, Marjorie. But if you only want to use much in an affirmative sentence, it's not correct because much is for negative in questions, okay? The services Actually, are expensive, teacher. Services are traffic. expensive. There is a lot of traffic. I have a question, and this is a very personal question because I would like to know. Sorry, I'm very snoopy. I'm very snoopy. But um, do you know the meaning of snoopy? Yes. No. Like curious. Well, yes, no. Curious. Uh -huh. I'm very snoopy. How much do you pay uh, in your electricity bill in your house? A lot of money. 50, mo 50 per month. In Tanya, 50 per month. Yes. 45. 45. 16 or 20. 20. Oh, that's nice. 16 or 20. That's nice. Where do you live? Yes. In my case, I pay almost $70. Yes. In my case, why this year? Sorry, Raquel. In my case, $9. Nine. Nine. Yes. Nine. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, I will be so happy. No, it's because in my case, uh, I think in my case, because we have a washing machine and also my father uses a special machine that is for a sleeping apnea. I don't know if you know what that is, a sleeping apnea. A sleeping apnea is when people have problems for sleeping because they are like, for example, sleeping and then they are like, so my father has a sleeping apnea, so he uses a, a special machine. I think that machine <laughs> consumes a lot of electricity. Yeah, because imagine, $9, that's great. I would like to live over there. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, yeah, services are very... Ah, water is different. I pay $3. <laughs> what about you? $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. $2. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay. But uh, in this yes, it is the uh, neighborhood because in private, uh, for example, private uh, neighborhood, the water some some places the water is, is so expensive. expensive. Yes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. I had a, a friend, not a friend, but I I knew somebody who lived in La Escalon and she paid five dollars in her house. That was very unfair, five dollars, and the house but was the, very the big. Marsella, nine dollars. Nine. Nine, yes, for yeah. the water, men's monthly. Nine is nine. <laughs> okay, what else? What else, guys? There is a lot of pollution. There is too much Renting noise. Renting a house is expensive. There is a lot of uh, garbage. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I was going to go here first. Renting a house is expensive. So I think, uh, Josue, if you rent a house, for example, my niece right now is renting a house in Santa Tecla. And do you know how much she pays? $800. Um, 
800 because she has a business over there. But what I want to tell you, $800 for renting a house, I better pay one for me. It could be better. It could be but much better. Yeah, but maybe it was, for example, could be a lot of troubles, you know, just getting the the paperwork for own a house. I don't know if I say it well, but just the idea, because yeah. there are a lot of troubles. No, you they... said it correctly. Huh? Oh, thank you. No, you said it nice. Sometimes yeah, renting is, is such a well. good option. Yeah, it when is you don't... true. Yeah, <laughs> because they are asking you. My mother says in Spanish, they are asking you even for La Magnifica. My mother says, <laughs> <laughs> yes, they ask you. Oh, you have to. You, your salary needs to be two thousand dollars. Two thousand. Yeah, that's exactly. And, and maybe you can afford it, but you can complete all the paperwork, and you can even if you can afford it. So, you know. Yeah. Well, in my case, I have a house because my father gave it to me. <laughs> because well, if not, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't have a house. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> it is really difficult. And I rem and my mother tells me that when when they were, I mean, in the grandparents' times, they sold pieces of land very cheap. For oh. example, my grandmother sold a piece of land in 200 colones. Can you imagine? Yeah. They were like two, I mean, two in a span, in a two, I don't remember if one hectare or I don't remember, but it was a big piece of land, 200 colones. Very, very cheap. Okay. There is a lot of garbage. Yes. Uh, another the, problem. The, service, the water ah. service is so bad and the, the bills arrive each month. Ah, water service is, is, is bad and the bills arrive. Uh, they arrive in time, right? Yes. <laughs> and maybe oh, you don't have teacher. water the whole day. Uh -huh. Yes, another problem? I think it's difficult to find a job because for the competition. That's why you are here learning English. Yes or no? <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to tell yes. you something. I'm going to tell you something. Um, having, a, having a career, I mean, having a, a degree on economy or something like that, everybody, I, I mean, there are engineers, doctors. We have a lot of people with professions. But unfortunately, we don't have a lot of job opportunities. So right now, like the easiest and the fastest, is to find a job in a call center. But I'm going to tell you something. Not only call centers offer good opportunities related to English. There are NGOs, tourism, all right? In El Salvador, is also um, also needs English. So in case you would like to work in something with English, don't think only on, in call centers. There are a lot of um, There are a lot of options. I will try to share these options to you. Also, Ministerio de Trabajo. Ministerio de Trabajo has a program uh, where they take people from El Salvador and they take it to the United States like four months, and then people come back. And you want, and you need like I don't know, like an intermediate level of English. And there are people who are leaving. For example, from Basico Uno course, I have a student, and he to study, you know, and he was applying. He learned a little bit. Um, and next week he's leaving to the states. So you, sh I, I will share that link to you in case you would like to to try. Okay. Please, please. Yes, I, I have, I have a student. I'm gonna tell her because she's also leaving to the United States in two in two weeks. Yeah. So uh, if you can have the opportunity, why not? And your English is more advanced. I mean, you speak more English than my students from Basico, and they got the opportunity. So maybe you can have more chances. So I will tell them to share the link. Okay, so it is difficult to find a job. Yes. What else? Traffic jams. Very much people. Traffic, Traffic jams. jams. There are it's horrible. Lot, there are a lot of people. And the some, some neighborhoods don't have water. 
Some neighborhoods don't have water. Okay, so uh, some neighborhoods, let me see, some neighborhoods, neighborhoods uh, run, you can say run out of, run. Do you know the meaning of run out of? Do you know the meaning quedarse of run sin? out of? No. Ajá, quedarse no. sin. Ajá, very good. Eso es quedarse sin. Run out of. I mean, Money. tiene pero poquito. Yes, for example, you say, teacher, uh, I, teacher, I would like to invite you to eat pizza, but you know, I'm running out of money right now. That means I have, but not for inviting you. Okay. That's mean I'm broke. Sorry, Jose? That's mean I'm broke. Uh, th yeah, that means you are broke. <laughs> no money, right? No mm -hmm. money. Yeah, definitely. Money is, is, is really important. People yeah. who say money is not important, God, yeah, we need to eat, we need to pay bills. And you know, sometimes I wonder, I see, for example, security guards, security guards, they earn less than the minimum. Yeah. And sometimes they have three women. <laughs> yeah. Um. yeah. Yes. It is like, wow, wow. It's life is really difficult. Okay. Well, we have here some pros and cons of living in, in the city, all right? So I'm going to take a picture. Or maybe some, well, yeah, I'm going to take a picture because no sé si ustedes ya les actualizó Zoom, si tienen PC. ¿No? No. No. Ya le va a pedir una actualización y viene, pero horrible. Horrible, horrible. Todo en diferente lugar y me van a perdonar si me ven así, but... Ah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, the, the tools are here and the tools were here. So there is a big mess. Sorry. Okay. So right now I'm going to share. Let me see. I'm going to share. Uh, can you, let me see. Can you see, can you see the, the platform? Yes? yes. Yes. Okay. So we were talking about some things here and uh, I have some pictures related to some, um, to some things related in the city. So here, what can you relate this with? Traffic, traffic, traffic. 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 Los chorros. <laughs> yeah. los, los chorros right now is a mess. Where where do you live? Nobody lives here in Lower de Colón. Yes. No. I know God. I, it, it, traffic I is terrible, this. right? Yeah. I know. Terrible, terrible. Also in Soya Pango, in everywhere, right? Everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. Yeah, we are having traffic jams everywhere. What about this one? This is a? Bus stop. Similar to the ones in El Salvador, yes or no? Yes. Yes, with feet and, uh, but, but, but I have a question. How many of you travel by bus? How many of you travel by bus? Or do you have a car? All the time. <laughs> and I have a car. You have a car, yeah, Irene, by bus? Yes. Okay. By bus, bus, all right? By bus. Okay. Now, um, well, I, 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 in my case, I travel both by car and by bus, but recently I have been traveling by car. But my question is, what about um, what about thieves uh, on the buses and pickpockets? Have you ever been a victim of a pickpocket? Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, all the time, yes. 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 yes, uh when I was uh 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 -huh, when I was work working I, uh, when yes. I was working yes <gasps> nah that's terrible that's terrible yes yeah in my case I re I am well I have been working from home for almost four years. I have been working from home almost for, for four years. But one of these days, uh, I went to, I don't remember, I went to a place, but I had to go near Salvador del Mundo. No, Salvador at 6 p.m. is hell. Definitely, definitely. And people running, trying to catch the bus. And it is because what? I don't remember her name. The lady who lives in Valle Verde, I don't remember. Me. Ah, Michelle, 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 right? Yeah. Hey, Marcela, Michelle. And it is of what you say, right? Because maybe they they get the last bus. Yeah, and buses are crowded and wow, it is it is really um really 
sad to see people like that. What about this one? Parking lot. This is a parking, parking lot. lot. All right. Uh, have you ever gone to Plaza, guys? Yeah. Plaza? Yeah. Have you ever lost your car at Multi Plaza or at any mall? Ah, yeah. Sure. Oh. Yes. Yes, you have lost your car. <laughs> you yeah. have to find your car. Okay, in galerias. Ah, yes, in galerias. It's, it's very common. It's very common. What about this one? Parking, parking space. space. Parking space. Parking space. All right. How many of you can drive? Me. Me. Esmeralda. Um, Abel, can you drive? Yes. Yes. Rocio, can you drive? No. <laughs> no. Right, very good. Okay, parking space. What about the next one? <clears throat> green space. Green space. Green this space. Is a green space. Do we have green spaces in El Salvador? Yes. Uh, no. No. yes. A little. <laughs> a few, a few spaces. A few, mm -hmm. right? A few. a few spaces. What about this one? Bicycle, Bicycle line. line. Bicycle lane. Bicycle lane. Uh, lane Bicycle in English lane. is carril. Lane, uh huh. Lane. That's carry. All right, very good. Okay. Sorry, uh, Irene, I closed the microphone because I can listen to a TV, or I don't know if it is a TV. Sorry, sorry. All right, so you say bike bicycle lane is carril lane. Yeah. Okay, bicycle lane. Yeah. Uh, in El Salvador, do we have bicycle lanes? Yes. 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 We don't use it. We don't use it. We don't don't use it. it. We've but... We have it. Marcos en San Jacinto. We don't have that culture. No. What about these ones? What are these? Recycling uh, bins. Recycling bins. Oh, recycling. Recycling bins. All right. Do we recycle in El Salvador? Uh, no. A little bit. No. I guess no. People don't recycle, right? What about here? <clears throat> what is, what's this? Street light. 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 Street and, yeah. the, yeah. and the ticket arrives to your to your license driver driver's license sorry be careful all right with the new traffic lights okay <clears throat> let me see the next one <clears throat> uh what about this one all right very good um what about this Ooh, what police, about this police, police, police checkpoint point. Teacher, how police do you say retain the policia? Police, police check checkpoint. Check but when you when but when you see a police checkpoint, you don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they are they are asking you for this. Have you have you seen on the news? Have you seen on the news? People yeah. are taking the alcohol yes. test. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is a lot of people. A lot of people are being caught. A lot of people are being caught. Okay, and what about this one? Pollution. Pollution. Have you ever gone home and cleaned your face with a with yeah. a wet? Yes. White piece is white. It's black. Really dirty. Yes, it's very dirty, right? Oh, contamination. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some questions so you can discuss with your classmates. Maybe somebody can take the picture, please, because I have a lot of I have a lot of um, toolbars here and, and I'm not going to have the image very well. Maybe somebody can take a picture just to see the, the, the picture. You will talk about city life, okay? You have here two cities, uh, city A and uh, picture A and picture B. So you have some questions here that are very, very, very nice to be talking. If it is difficult for you to answer the question, remember from the same question, you can have your answer, okay? Well, I don't know if you know the meaning of skycrappers or sky. Rascacielos. Rascacielos. Very good. Skycrappers or skycrapers. I don't remember the, the pronunciation. Give me a second. I'm going to check. Skycrapers. 
scrapers, scrapers, I don't remember. Because I have heard both ways. Let me see. Skyscrapers. Uh, skyscraper meaning. Let me see. Skyscraper. Skyscraper. Yeah, skyscraper. Right. That's the correct pronunciation. Skyscraper. Skyscrapers. Okay. Uh, did you send the picture to WhatsApp? Yes. 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 All right. So I'm going to make some groups. Uh, let me see. I'm going to make some groups so you can talk. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to make six groups. If you are from a cell phone, you can share the screen and no problem because right now we are not working with, with, a, with an exercise. Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes so you can discuss about this. Okay, let's go. Mm.
Do you need extra time? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll be yes. good. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I have so cool. <laughs> 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 I have so cool right now. Okay. Five extra minutes. Are the questions easy or difficult? Easy. They are easy. They are very easy. And you can easy. Ex express yourself, right? Over there. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you just five extra minutes to discuss, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna explain something to you that I have. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think a mosquito came into my mouth. <laughs> All yeah. right, I know. Let's go. <clears throat> Hello.
Oh. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right, all right. Now, the next activity that I have for you is a listening activity, all right? Very good. This is going to be a very fun listening, but at the same time, it's a little difficult to understand because the person is talking by phone. Have you ever got a, a phone call in English? Have you ever tried no. to apply in a call center? No. Yes. Never. Yes. Never. Never? Yes? yes. No? You should yes. No. Yes. Do it. Oh, yes. just, just to test I never worked. Just, just to test yourself. Do it. Yeah, you, you should apply to a call center. Wait for the call. They call you. Neighbor. Yeah? So, but you have never uh, received a call from a person in English. Never, 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 never. All right. Well, you will listen to a phone call here of a man, right? And uh, the man is with another person. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the link. How many? I don't know if somebody in the groups have a computer. Everybody in the groups have a computer, or somebody was sharing from the cell phone. I have a computer. I no, have a computer. Cell phone. Okay, give me give me a moment. In group number one, Josué Alvarado, Osvaldo, Diana, Irene, Rebecca, and Tania. Who has a computer in this group? No, I using my cell phone. Okay. I have a computer. Oh, Josué. All right. So, Josué, yes. you're going to help me, okay? I don't know if okay. you know how to share the, the audio from, from Zoom to so everybody um, can listen uh, to the audio. No. No. Okay. Uh, you will share the screen. There is a green arrow over there, and you click the arrow. Then on okay. the lower part, on the lower part, on one corner, there is a little uh, square. And it says compartir audio or share audio. So you tick okay. and it will uh, get blue. And then you sh uh, select what you're going to share, the, the window you're going to share, and then you share. And everybody will listen because if you don't do that, only you will listen and not everybody. Okay? Okay. Okay. okay in number two, Understood. Rebecca Diaz, Marjorie Giron, Rocío Lopez, Alba Martinez, Esmeralda Beatriz, and Iris Alexandra. Who has a computer there? Me, Rebecca. Rebecca. All right, Rebecca. So, Rebecca, you're going to be the leader in room number two. <laughs> okay. In room number three, Alba Castillo, Maura Cecilia, Stephanie Gonzalez, Marlene Melendez, Catherine Orellana. Who has a computer? I have. Catherine. Okay. Eh, Abel. Abel has a computer. All right. And in room number five, Raul, Helen, Santiago, Marvin, and America. Who has a computer? Uh, in, in this moment, I use the cell phone. Ah, okay, but give me a second. So, eh, Daniel Enrique Fermán, Raquel Molina, Leonel Monterrosa, Marcela eh, Michel. Who has a computer from you? Because Abel is using his cell phone. Somebody who has a computer from this group? Nobody. Oh, my God. All right, Emerson, I will send you to room number uh, four to help me, okay? Okay. Emerson, all right, in group number four. So in group number five, Raul, Helen, Santiago, Marvin, and America, who has a computer in this in this group? Me. Me, Marvin. Ah, Marvin. Marvin, yes, Marvin, Marvin, yeah, 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 yeah. And Lucero, Daniel, Karen, Karen Vázquez, you have a computer, right? Yes, Excellent. Ya, ya más o menos me los estoy aprendiendo a, a conocer. Okay, so I'm going to send the link. I don't know if you have worked uh, listening before with your previous teachers, but I'm going to give you some steps that will help you understand listening better. Okay, because this is something structured. It's not something that we are going to work like, ah, okay, I will listen and I will answer. All right, I'm What did I do? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Wrong button. <laughs> sorry, wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. Okay, I'm going to send the link. 
The link is on, on the chat. And I will tell you some steps to work a listening exercise, okay? Uh, because working a listening is not just like listening and trying to do everything at the same time. I always give some tips uh, to my students to understand listening is better. Tips for listening exercises. Okay. I don't know if you have been working like this, but number one is read statements first. Uh, for example, if you have five questions you have to answer, the recommendation is read the statements first, all right? So you can have an idea of what the listening is going to be about. Number two, play the audio for the first time. Believe me, if you work your listenings like this, you're going to improve. All right, play the audio for this first time. Number three, answer the statements. Okay, answer the statements. And number four, play the audio for the second time. Porque le voy a empezar a dar más difíciles. Play the audio for the second time eh, and check your answers. Okay, very good. Check your answers. Okay, so these are some tips for listening. All right, I'm gonna be giving you more difficult listening uh, so you can get your get your ear to listen. And also I want you to be honest. If you make a mistake in one, you make a mistake in one. You're not going to send me a score like, okay, I got a mistake in one, but I'm gonna listen again. And then I'm going to correct the one that is incorrect. And then I'm gonna send my score. No, you're going to send your score, the one that you get the first time. Okay, that's why I'm giving you some steps so you can work on that. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna, uh, can you open the link? The link is in the chat. Can you open the link? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, very good, excellent. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, give you some minutes. This listening is in intermediate level. The one similar from yesterday, the one just a haircut, please was an intermediate listening uh, difficulty. So um, this is also from the intermediate, okay? Well, I'm, I'm just gonna give you some minutes. Let's go. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mariel, do you remember your group? Oh, hi, hi. Hello. It's me. It's group me. number three. 
Um, I don't know with Marvin and uh, Santiago, Marvin, Marvin Peña. Marvin. Yes. Ah, number I, five. I joined the meeting with the uh, with my cell phone because here it's raining a lot where I live. And, ah, and okay. with the computer, I didn't hear the audio. Okay, just change your name because you have Maria Urbina de Flores, and uh, I need. Okay. Yeah, and All I right. don't know. I can I can keep um the meeting in the computer. Mm -hmm. I only need the audio here in the cell phone. Ah yes, no problem. Uh huh, no problem. Don't ah yeah, I saw you. I saw you. No problem. Okay, don't worry. You can have both. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Thanks for Thank telling. You, All right.
Everybody is coming back, okay? <clears throat> okay. Is this difficult? Sorry. Did you finish? No. Yes, yes. 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 Ah, All my turns. Oh, I have two groups which did it. And what about the others? Did you finish? Yes. Well, yes. yes. Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask because I need to I need to continue with other things, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to figure it out. Okay, so number one is the man who is calling is what is he? A taxi driver. A taxi driver. A taxi driver. All right. Very good. Yes, he is a taxi driver. What about number two? What is the problem with the woman? She is having a baby. Having a baby. And how do you know? Okay, thank you. Thank you. There is a neck over there. And, and, and how do you know that she's having a baby? Because at the end, uh, he said he has a, a boy. She has, uh -huh, a boy. she has a boy. She sorry. has a boy. Sorry. Oh my God, it's raining. But how do you know that she is pregnant before that? I don't know if you could understand. She's getting into labor. He's uh -huh. She was. She was going into labor. All right. That means going in, is similar, like in Spanish. Yes or no? no. Yeah. Yeah, labor. She's going into labor. All right. That means she's having a baby. Uh, where where is the man? On the freeway. On the freeway. And Talking. somebody threw a bottle, right? Did you listen? Yeah. Do you listen to that? Yeah. yeah. Right. May, may, yes. Remember that freeway in the United States is like, uh, for example, if you're talking about Los Chorros Road, one mm. car, one car stops over there and it collapses. Okay. It collapses. All right. What about the next one? What's the man's name? And at the end, the operator tells the man to keep the woman calm. The woman calm. The woman calm. The The woman calm. The The woman <laughs> it was a baby boy, all right? At the end, he says, oh, no, it's a boy, all right? Very good, excellent. So from one to 10, how difficult, this is, pers your answer has to be personal, okay? I need Esmeralda's answer, I need Tania's answer, I need Iris' answer. From one to 10, how much you understood? From one to 10, rate, from one to 10. Eight to 10. 8 to 10. 8, 75. 8 to 10. Nine. Okay, eight or ten? I don't understand. Tell me one. <laughs> eight. Eight. All right. Very good. I think it was because of the vocabulary or because the person was speaking fast, the noise. What What were the problems? I mean, what the was noise. the noise? The noise. The noise. The vocabulary. Speaking the noise fast. The, yes, speaking very fast. <laughs> the person was speaking very fast. Well, I will. I will work with that. Because at the end of this modulo, I want you to change that eight for a nine. All right. That's what I want. Okay. So that's why we're going to be working, listening a lot. Okay. Uh, right now, everybody, uh, before we continue, guys, I'm going to take a picture. Sorry, the picture, the picture. Okay. Uh, yesterday, somebody was asking for the class. Uh, and I don't know if I said that in. in in class, I know that I no. told you that that I told you that a YouTube channel was restricted. I told you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca helped me a lot yesterday. Uh, Rebecca, I sent your comments uh, and and your audio and messages to coordination, and they already sent the email, and we are waiting for the resolution. Okay. Thanks, Rebecca, a lot. You helped me a lot, okay? All right. Hi, you uh, work well. Yes, yes, yes. Because believe me, coordinators almost cried yesterday. They were mm -hmm. very, very sad because they never paid attention to that risk. Mm -hmm. But well. Okay, I'm going to take the picture. One, two, and three. Excellent, very good. This is picture number one. And <clears throat> give me a moment. I'm going to take... 
two pictures because I have two pages. Okay. Mm. The next one is picture number two. Okay, picture number two. One, two, and three. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Well, um, this, this, in this moment, guys, I'm going to show you a video. Uh, do you remember that at the beginning of this module, we were talking about too much, too many, and some people told me, teacher, I don't understand that. It's kind of hard. Well, uh, right now, um, on the contents that we have to study, we have to see that again. All right. But now we're going to see it slowly because last module, uh, last uh, unit, unit number one, I think every, everything was mixed. But right now, I'm going to try to explain it little by little because uh, the platform has it like this. So uh, I will show you a video. Pay attention, please, to this video. And then uh, I'm going to explain to you um, better. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm going to share the, the audio. All right. And let's go. Hey, guys. Let's learn about the usage of two. Too much, too many, and enough. These phrases are quantifiers. Quantifiers show the amount or degree of something. Use these words before now. For example, too much light and too many buses. Some of these quantifiers can be used with countable or non-countable or both. For example, too many can be used with countable noun. Too much is used with uncountable noun. And enough is used with both. Now remember, you use quantifiers before now. So let's talk about public services and transportation. Let's see a chart with vocabulary. This chart is divided in two sections countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Let's see the countable nouns section. We have parks, playgrounds, bus or buses in plural, clinics, hospitals, motorcycle, cars, trains, and schools. Remember, these words have a singular and a plural. Now let's see uncountable nouns. Remember, uncountable nouns cannot be classified as singular and plural. Let's see some examples. Energy, education, public transportation, waste, water, tourism, Parking and healthcare. Remember, we use two plus much or many to talk about the amount of something. And usually it shows that is a lot of things or a lot in a degree of something. Now that you know quantifiers and nouns, you can create sentences using these words. Okay, very good. Okay, I, I will repeat it. Okay, I don't know if you want to take uh, notes. Something important mentions over there is the countable and uncountable nouns. You have studied countable and uncountable nouns before, right? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. <clears throat> okay, yes. very good. Yes, something sure. important, something important to understand too many and too much is the countable and uncountable nouns, specifically for that. But I, I will show you a, a chart later. Okay. Hey guys, let's learn about the usage of too, too much, too many, and enough. These phrases are quantifiers. Quantifiers show the amount or degree of something. Use these words before now. For example, too much light and too many buses. Some of these quantifiers can be used with countable or non-countable or both. For example, too many can be used with 
uncountable noun. Too much is used with uncountable. Okay, this is, this is something very important to understand, that we use too many when we are talking about countable nouns. It is a more than, right, more than the number you need to have. For example, El Salvador has too many people. For example, you said that one of the pros of the cities was that we had a lot of people. So we can say El Salvador has too many people, okay? more than the number that is that it needs to be right um there okay and too much is for uncountable nouns for example how do you say in english uh, hay mucho tráfico there is much pollution there is uh, traffic sorry too much traffic. Traffic them. but too much uh -huh. because if you only use much that is for negative sentences if you if you only use much uh -huh. so we say there is too much too traffic, much traffic. Okay? yes because traffic is an uncountable noun and for that reason is taken as a singular that's what she mentioned uh, on the video right uh, and there are other words that are taken as uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are always singular always okay let, let's keep on watching and enough is used with both now remember you use quantifiers before now. So let's talk about public services and transportation. Let's see a chart with vocabulary. This chart is divided in two sections, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Let's see the countable nouns section. We have parks, playgrounds, Bus or buses in plural, clinic, hospitals, motorcycle, cars, trains, and schools. Remember, these words have a singular and a plural. Now let's see uncountable nouns. Remember, uncountable nouns cannot be classified as singular and plural. Let's see some examples. Energy, education, public transportation, waste, water, tourism, parking, and healthcare. Remember, we use two plus much or many to talk about the amount of something. And usually it shows that is a lot of things or a lot in a degree of something. Now that you know quantifiers and nouns, you can create sentences using these words. Okay, very good. All right, now to make it easier, I was looking for some pictures and information and I was like, okay, how can I make my students to understand this in an easy way? I found this picture, okay? Yeah, so in this picture, you have like the information like condensed. So we're gonna use two plus what? Okay. An adjective. Plus an adjective. It is not possible to use nouns. It is not possible to say, for example, the city is two cars. That is not possible. Two is when you need to intensify. Somebody told me last time, teacher. So it is the same as if you use, for example, pretty, as if you use very, as if you use uh, other other words that we can use for, for intensifying an adjective, right? Yeah, yes. It is two plus an adjective. For example, when you see, well, or tell me an, an actor that is too handsome for you. Tell me, an actor. Henry, is... Henry Cavill. Ah, <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. or, or a woman that is too beautiful for you, boys. Gal Gadot. Ah, all right, the, the lady, the um, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yes, all right, very good. Or for example, you can, if you're talking about the city, oh my God, this city is, how do you say, muy ruidosa. Too noisy. 
too noisy. Too, too noisy, yeah. But we are not used to using the word too. We are used to using the word used to because that is in present. It is possible to say ing after too. It is you. We are used to using the word very. We always say very. It is very noisy. It is very yeah. But you also can say too too noisy. This city is too noisy, right? To, how do you say contaminada? Do you remember I told you last time? How do you say contaminada in English? With contamination is pollution. Contamin polluted. 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 Excellent. You remember. Excellent. Great job. So pollution is the noun. Polluted is the adjective. Yeah. So if this city is too polluted, too polluted. How do you say muy peligrosa? Very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using two. Using too too dangerous. Dangerous. Too, too dangerous. But did you listen to your answers? You told me other things except two. Porque estamos acostumbrados, ha. Huh? <laughs> we are used to using other words rather than two. But you have another option, right? You can use two. So you can understand. But that doesn't mean that it's not correct to say very or, or extremely or, or other adverbs that you would like to use. No, this is one option, okay? Too much. Well, watching the video, she said that you can use too much with? Uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns, all right? For example, noise. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Countable? Uncountable. Ah, all right, yes, I heard somebody saying uncountable. Uh, now, mm -hmm. uncountable, very good. What about a uh, crime? crime? Uncountable. 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 Ah, for example, you can say, teacher, in El Salvador, there is too much crime. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Mm -hmm. I agree. agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. You agree. All right, very good. Well, too many. We use too many with? Contable. 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 Contable nouns, all right? For example, in, how do you say in El Salvador teacher? In El Salvador, mire teacher, in El Salvador, hay bastante mañosos. How do you say that in English? How do you, how do you say that in English? El Salvador has two stoller. Two. Mm. Pay attention to the word. Pay attention to the word that you have to use. Too many. Too many. Too many. Too many. El, how do you say ladrones in English? Thieves. Okay. Do you know the difference between thieves, the difference between robber, the difference between um, pickpockets, the difference between, do you know? No. Yes. no. No. Do you know the difference? No. What is the difference between no. robbers and thieves? What's the difference? Because Ladron they... asaltante? Uh, no, but that is in Spanish. Tell me the difference in English. Thief is the substantive. Both are nouns. Los dos son sustantivos. Robbers and thieves. Porque son personas. Ajá. Robbers and thieves. But what's the difference? Thief. The thief is, is stole. Steal? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stole uh, with. Steal. Steal. Thief? Uh -huh. Give me a second. I don't know how they say arma and gun. With ah, gun. okay. So they, si usted dice stole, este es el verbo en pasado. They, uh -huh. they steal. With weapons. Weapons. Ah, with weapons. No vayamos a decir arms, que esos son brazos. Uh -huh. Yes, excellent, Stephanie. Uh -huh. Thieves steal with weapons, with a knife, with a gun, all right? In El Salvador, with a toy gun. <laughs> machetes. Yeah, okay. with machetes. My mother once told me that a thief, um, uh, well, robbed her things with a fork. With a fork. With a fork. But before, long time ago, now they are more dangerous. Uh-huh. That's the difference. Thieves Teacher. steal with weapons. 
Mm -hmm. I have a question about money. I can say too much money and too many dollars. Uh-huh. Exactly. Why? Because the money is uncountable. In, in dollars, I specific 10, 20, and that's it. Or about enough, enough money. Uh-huh. Because, okay, pay attention here. Remember, teacher Eunice said on the video, ay, perdón, que no, no hay las herramientas aquí, me las ha, ay, no, <laughs> que las ha movido de lugar el, la actualización. All right, eh, Iris, when you say enough, money is a, an uncountable noun. And remember that on the video, the teacher said that you can use eh, enough with countable and uncountable nouns. But the position is like this. Pay attention. When you talk about a noun, enough is at the beginning and after is the noun. So what you said was correct, enough money. Uh -huh. But if you're going to use an adjective, it's the opposite. The adjective is first and the word enough is after. Is it clear? Excellent, it is. Excellent, excellent. And yet, money is uncountable because... Or you can say in Spanish, mira, teacher, yo tengo tres dineros ahí guardados. Ah, Is that possible ah. to say? No. No. <laughs> I've never heard that even in Spanish, tres dineros. That's not possible Ay, because money is uncountable. Uh -huh. So you, but dollars. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Maybe you could hear it. I don't have in a funny I've way. Never, uh -huh. you, you know, I don't have enough money either. You own the dineros. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, me, me debes un par de dineros. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, but it is was right. It was right. All right, enough money. Or you can say, for example, enough cars. Now, I'm going to tell you something very important here. When we are describing cities, the eraser is here. When we are describing cities, eh, y para que no les cueste mucho, okay, we can use eh, this with there is and there are. Do you remember there is and there are? Yes. Yes. Or you, uh -huh, for example, you can say uh, in in El Salvador there is or in El Salvador there is too much uh, too much noise. In El Salvador, uh, well, when we talk about uh, when we talk about too much, we can say there is. I'm gonna help you. Lela. Se lo voy a poner más fácil, easier. Okay. Give me a moment. So when we say too much, we can use there is, okay? When we talk about too many, we can use? There are. There are. There yeah. are, okay. When we use too and the adjective, we can use a uh, verb to be. Verb be, verb be, plus two, plus the adjective, okay? Porque a veces en la, en la tarea pasada estaba escuchando que algunos me decían, eh, in city A, there is too hot. Es mejor usarlo con verbo to be. It is too hot. You are too intelligent. Okay? When we use too plus the adjective. When we use too much, if you are talk, if you are describing a city, you can use there is. Too many, there are. And enough, you can say eh, you are with the adjective sorry you are she is plus adjective plus enough acuérdese que los adjetivos siempre usan um, ver to be los adjetivos siempre se usan con el verbo to be ok ya si se usan con verbos ya no son adjetivos son adverbios and enough we're gonna use it we can say i have I want, I'm just giving you some examples, all right? I want, I need, etc. Now I have a question. Is this clear? Yeah. Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, give me, give me a moment here. I have a, a slide. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing a little bit of this. Um, les tenía un ejercicio preparado, pero lo voy a mandar para que lo hagan de tarea. Es cortito, okay? Um, just give me a second because you need to prepare for homework number one homework number one is tomorrow aquí está this is uh, too many, too much, enough I know but this was a speaking activity let me see 
No, I'm gonna, le voy a mandar la PowerPoint. <laughs> Había buscado, I was, uh, I searched for sharing with you more information. So if you want to have more information about this topic, uh, there you have the link. <clears throat> Maybe somebody can send the link to WhatsApp, please. The link. So, um, well, tomorrow we're gonna, we're gonna practice this a little bit spoken. I'm gonna explain another thing and then I'm gonna evaluate the homework. So get ready with your homework tomorrow. ¿Cuánto tiempo le dije que tenía que ser? De, de 40 seconds? 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Yes. Si se pasa un poquito, that's great. Less, no. It has to be 40 seconds. Entonces, ¿a qué lo estoy obligando? <laughs> So you practice. Practice. You practice, yes, you practice. If you if you want to speak as fast as you can, do it. Teacher, for me, it's very difficult. It doesn't matter if you want to speak slowly, but practice. That's the most important thing. Thank you very much, everybody. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you. God bless your day. All right, bye-bye. Take care.